Hello and welcome back. Uh, this time we're going to be writing to an SD card using SPY. So we'll generate a new project. Let's call it SD card. Choose your chip. No container for me. Yes, STD. Okay. Uh, SD card. Great. So we have our standard project. First, we come into the cargo.toml file first. Um, and we're going to start by updating the ESP IDF sys to the latest version. We'll use ESP IDF HAL version 0.40. And we'll use a library called embedded SDMMC, or create, I should say, version 0.4.0. Great. Okay. Now, main.rs. We will use some of those crates. So we're going to use that embedded SDMMC. And then we're also going to use ESP IDF HAL, GPIO, peripherals, prelude. And spy. Okay. And that's it. Now go into main. And first, we're going to uh, get the spy uh, driver. So we need to get the peripherals first. Take, and then we're going to unwrap that, and we'll say like driver equals spy driver new. We're going to use SPI2 for the clock. We're going to use GPIO8 for Pico. We're going to use GPIO 7. Pico is uh, commands from the ESP32. And then for Pokey, commands going into the ESP32. That's optional. Uh, we're going to use GPIO 7. And we're not going to use the DMA. Okay. And we got to unwrap that. All right. Let's try to unbuild. Put that build in the background while we're still typing. Okay, so we got our spy driver. Now we need to configure it. Big. New, make it mutable because we're going to change it. Spy config, and we're going to make it full duplex. And then we're going to configure the baud rate to be 24 megahertz. Now we're going to make the device driver. Pass it the driver and an option to a GPIO. Make it six. That's going to be the uh, chip select. Chip select pin. Pass it the SPI config as well, and then unwrap that. Now we need to uh, get the chip select pin. So we're going to make the pin driver output. Purples and GPL6. And then we're going to make a mutable uh, SD and C spy. 
and this is what's going to do the writing. Pass it this by device driver and a chip select. Okay, and now we have to acquire the mutex on that SDMMC. Spy. Okay, if we get okay, then we'll block. And uh, first thing we need to do is get the uh, controller. Pass the block and SDMMC clock. And this is something that we have to, this is a structure uh, that we have to define ourselves. So uh, we'll define it up here and we'll say obstruct SDMMC clock. And then we got to implement time source for that. And we need the method get timestamp, self timestamp, and then we're going to return the timestamp to uh, all zeros. So zero, zero. So we pass that, make the controller, and after we have the controller, now we can get the volume. Yeah, unwrap that. And let's just make the error case real quick. Any error. Print line here. Oh, uh, no, no. Okay. Let's try to build again. Uh, kind of builds. Uh, for a repo. Let's spell it wrong. Peripherals. <laughs> That's fine. Peripherals. Yeah. Sorry about that. So many typos. Okay. And this is GPIO 9, not GPIO 7. Great. Uh, okay, so cool. let's try to build again. It'll build in the background while we do the rest of this code. Okay, so we got the volume, and now we need to get the root directory. Open root. Directory will pass it the volume. And then we need the file. So controller.open file and directory. Pass it the reference to volume, a reference to root directory. We need to give it a file name. And then the mode is going to be read, write, create, or append. Okay, and then we unwrap that. Now we need to define what the file name is. Uh, so we'll come up here to the top. And we'll just do it right here. So we're going to say const file name is 
type reference to a static slice. We'll name it uh, logs.text. Okay. okay. Cool. All right, and now we have our file. So we need to do something with it. So we're gonna seek from n zero dot and that. And then we need to make the string that we're gonna write. convert it to a string and then I need to write it pass a new reference to the volume new reference to the file a reference to the log string we need to pass in bytes and we're gonna do all the bytes I'm gonna unwrap that now we're going to close the file. The reference to the volume and the file. Okay, Let's see how we're doing. Cargo build. All right, and see if we flash. We didn't really print anything. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, let's see. No, no, we didn't print anything out. So we'll just have to check the SD card. Should only do it once. Um, okay. So is it this? I'm gonna take my SD card out. Okay, here we see hello SD card. Um, we didn't see that. There we go. Yeah, so uh, there we go. It worked. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below.